Welcome to the Shit Slinky Made Me Watch. I'm your host, KC, here with another shitty review about shitty horror films, recommended by that sumbitch Slinky. Here to talk to you about The Janitor. It was released in 2003, and this one, it opens up with the opening credits and basically showing you the janitor's day-to-day, -day, you know, him just going around cleaning different things and whatnot. Basically just his responsibilities. And then while cleaning the restroom floor, he got his face pissed on and like it was like all in his mouth and shit. I mean, he was pissed. And then a little bit later on, uh, the office boss is like explaining a situation to all the workers. And he said, I'm sure the rumors are spreading faster than gonorrhea in a $2 horror house on St. Patrick's Day, but I'm here to clear it all up. And that was absolutely hilarious. Um, I really enjoyed that. There were some pretty funny kills, like a plunger to the face while um, in plain sight of two of the other office worker guys. And they're like talking about who this killer might be. And the dude's literally right behind uh, them with like a plunger to the face of this one dude just killing him. Uh, that was pretty funny. Um, the practical effects in this one were pretty decent, but also very cheesy. Later on, a FBI agent explains that they found a hooker's head with her mouth full of the killer's jizz. So, um, basically, they are got his jizz now, and they're going to go and try to get that tested. And then the other janitor offers to help uh, stop the semen from getting tested. Once they have it, uh, he drank it because they said he couldn't like refill it with anything else. He just was trying to get rid of it and where they couldn't find it again. So he literally like drank his coworkers come. That was pretty gross. And then later on while at a bar, um, these jocks start like picking on the janitor really bad. And one of them ends up uh, getting beaten to death with his own arm. Um, I mean, it goes on for a very long time while I was getting beat, like had to be like two minutes of just getting whacked to death with his own arm. That was pretty funny, but also really drawn out. The janitor was also um, offered a job to go work at this uh, sorority house, basically just cleaning up after these girls. Um, and there was a lot of what the fuck moments in this movie. There really was. Um, later on, uh, you find out that his partner, basically, uh, after telling him about this job, goes and takes it from him. And they show a shot where they're uh, basically having this uh, pillow fight. All these sorority girls are like topless and titties are bouncing all over the place. That was pretty nice. And get this, uh, later on during a sex scene, there was this rock song used. There was, um, I don't know exactly the name of it or whatever, but the chorus was, You Make Me Want to Come. I just thought that was pretty funny too. But overall, there were a couple decent actors, uh, pretty decent practical effects, very trauma-esque type kills. Uh, the titties helped out a lot on this one. Um, definitely a very low budget film but for this one i'd have to give it three shit stains case it says check it out i'll be back next time to talk to you about jack frost as always i'll see you guys next time stay classy folks